How's it going everyone, Skipper VR here, hope you're having an amazing day, and today we're going to be going over the brand new version 34 update for the Oculus Quest. This time it has some really impressive features that I'm honestly really excited to give a try, and I've been waiting for it for quite a while now. It feels like it's been a while since we've had a really good update for the Quest 2, but hey, now we finally have one. It's kind of odd that they're rolling this out so close to the release of Kinect, but it's new content so I'm all for it. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing VR content, and if you're new, be sure to check out the rest of my channel. I'm sure there'll be something you enjoy. Oh, and one more shameless plug before we get into it. I just released a brand new video on my new channel talking about the YouTube series Local58, so if you're interested in that, I'm going to go link it down in the description. Be sure to check it out. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to be getting all of this info from the article from the Oculus blog, so if you want to read it, I'll link it down in the description for you. The article opens with this. The dust has barely settled, but we're already beginning to roll out version 34, our latest software updates. The highlights? More versatile voice commands, Guardian is getting a major upgrade with Space Sense, Android users will finally be able to see their phone notifications in VR, and more. You can find all the details below. What immediately caught my interest was the new feature called Space Sense, which I'll touch on more in just a moment. So the first thing they listed in this article is titled New Voice Commands, and here's what they have to say. There's a time for touch controllers, and there's a time for hand tracking, and there are some times when your voice is the best input method you have available. With version 34, we're improving voice commands and making them more capable of handling everyday tasks. You can now pause and play your media in Oculus TV and select other apps using your voice. Voice commands can also help show and hide your move stats, open your settings tabs, and even answer simple questions. Sure, you could take off your headset and check the weather by looking at the window, but that's so old-fashioned, right? Use your voice instead. I kind of love that self-aware joke there. Here's a few cool things you can ask for. Who's online? Show me events. Exit app. Power off. Reset. Open settings. Turn on pass-through. Reset view. Find free games. Take a photo. Start casting. Is it going to be cold at 5pm? Who is Abraham Lincoln? Define innovation, and the most important of all, how many calories are in three eggs? At the end, they just had the most random questions. Now, this is pretty neat, but honestly, I don't really have a use for voice commands or anything like that. I never really use Siri or Alexa or Cortana or anything like that. So I don't think this will help me out that much, but it is cool that it's there. Are you excited for this feature? Let me know down in the comments below. The next feature is something that kind of should have been released a while back, but it's Android notifications being compatible with the Quest. Here's what they have to say. With May's version 29 software update, we enabled iOS users to see their phone notifications in VR. You know, actually in VR, without removing your headset or trying to peek at your phone through a little sliver of light around your nose. We're excited to announce that we're rolling out the same capabilities to Android users with version 34. You can stay connected to the outside world even as you explore a myriad of virtual worlds. Set up phone notifications via the Oculus app, then enable them via the Oculus app or on your headset's settings menu. You can receive in-VR notifications for any mobile app that currently displays notifications on your phone lock screen. Personally, I've been really enjoying the phone notifications in VR. I think it's one of their most helpful features of all time. There have been a few instances where I've missed an important text because I was too busy in VR, so I'm glad that Android users are now compatible with it. It was weird that it wasn't compatible first because I believe that the Oculus is run on an Android software so you'd think it'd be the first, but it doesn't really matter anymore. Alright, next feature. I think this one is so sick, I didn't really think it would be something we would see so soon or on the Quest 2, but I'm all for it, and of course I'm talking about Space Sense. Here's what they have to say. Space Sense enables you to see when objects or people intrude on your guardian bounds. Other people, large pets, a chair that's been dragged out of its usual spot, these objects and more should be highlighted now in your headset, surrounded by a pinkish glow. This is a much requested feature and we're excited to get it in your hands. That said, we are actively still working on improving Space Sense, so we're rolling out in version 34 under the Experimental Features tab in your settings. We'd love to hear how Space Sense is working for you, please send us feedback. The animation they put alongside it is really interesting, but there are a few things that I'm hoping won't be present. I feel like there are going to be glitches where you can see stuff that isn't moving or isn't going to hit you. They'll just be sitting there and the Oculus will pick it up and put it in VR, which could be quite bothersome. And it might just be better to not have it on at all. 
Like, I can see it in my head now and how it would look. And if it's like that, it would be really annoying. But we're going to have to wait and see. It's going to be really awesome to see an outline of your friend in VR. And imagine you're trying VR for the first time and have no clue what's going on, but you can see your friend inside the virtual world with you. I can't wait to try this one out. I'll try to get a demonstration of it whenever it's released. Okay, so the last feature on this update is the release of the pass-through API. Here's what they said. With the upcoming SDK release, developers will be able to ship their mixed reality to both Oculus Store and App Lab. Experiences from Unity Labs, Spatial, YouTube VR, and more will be available soon. We can't wait to see what else developers build and are already hard at work on. The next generation of related technologies, including spatial anchors, scene understanding, and the rest of our presence platform capabilities that will help make good on our metaverse vision. Of course, they have to throw in that it's their metaverse vision. I thought that was kind of stupid. But it is pretty cool that we're going to be seeing some mixed reality on the Quest 2 and the new Quest products, even though I think it might be a little primitive for the time being. Alright, that's going to be it for today's news video. I just wanted to share this update with you guys because I think a lot of the features, if not all of them, are really helpful in their own way. Which one are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, be sure to give it that thumbs up, and of course, if you didn't, it wouldn't hurt to let me know. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. Have an absolutely amazing day, have fun exploring that virtual world, and as always, take care.